Amen. Today's Mass intentions are being offered for the following intentions. For Shiloh's Say family, for thanksgiving for God for everything in their life, for Pade family, for thanksgiving for God. And also, a special intention today is for Sibluwa's mother, uh, Mai Blue, for her recovery. She's currently in the hospital, and we are, our intentions go up for, for all three of them, and also for, uh, especially for all patients in the hospital during this time. Mokasa you are Dato Take? No, 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 no,
Matar Koteke, may your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank 
That very day, the first of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looked downcast. One of them, named Cleophas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was the prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to the sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, they astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that, indeed, they seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, how slow of heart to believe, all that the prophet spoke. Was it not necessary that Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? 
Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all scripture. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on further. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, and said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us, while he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures for us? So they set out at once, and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven, and those with them who were saying, the Lord is truly raised as and appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Good 
good morning to everybody here, and good morning to everybody who is watching from all over the world. Today's gospel is going to talk about how close Jesus is near to us, but sometimes we don't recognize how close he is. So I will tell you a story of something that happened to me that maybe will help you understand this more, how close Jesus is to us. Seven years ago, I was in Rome, in Assisi, the birthplace of the Franciscan Order in Italy. And this was before I was I was still in the I was a, I was a Franciscan, but it was before I was in seminary. It was before I was ordained. I was there on a pilgrimage with two other brothers. And it was getting dark, and we were visiting different sites, and we were driving from one city to another city, the city where we were staying in. And it started to get dark, and none of us knew Italian really well. And so we couldn't read the street signs, where to turn, or anything, so we ended up getting lost. And the area we were in was very hilly, and we had a car, and the car we had was one of those little kind of, they call them Euro cars, with a stick shift. And there was something wrong with the shifter. And so it was a little bit difficult to get up the hills. Now usually, guys or men will understand this, is we don't like to ask for directions. Usually men think they know where they're going all the time. So we had three brothers in the car, each saying, go this way, go this way, and go this way. And that's how we got lost. <laughs> and so we ended up coming to like an end of a dead end. And the car had problems backing up, so we were stuck. It was, a, it was getting about 10 p.m. at night, and we didn't know where we were, and the car was stuck at a dead end. And so when we started talking about what are we going to do, what are we going to do, out of nowhere, this man opens up a window, and he says, in perfect English, Hey, I'll come down and I'll help you. And 
And he comes down and he says, well, can I try it? And we gave him the keys and he got into the car and the car was able to work for him. He was able to back it up out of the dead end and get it in a good position that we could drive. And then we thought to ourselves, well, this is great, but we still don't know where we are, and we don't know where to go. And so this man who was helping us, he's sitting behind the wheel, and he asks us, where do you need to go? And we said, well, we're staying with these sisters. They're probably waiting for us. He says, get in, I'll take you. I know where it is. And part of us were saying, no, 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 but realized that we had no idea what we were doing. So we got in and he started taking us. And I was sitting in the passenger seat, the other, the other brother was sitting in the back, and the man was sitting next to me. And we started to talk. And I was telling him, well, I'm from America, we're here. And just something interesting about him, I couldn't identify. It was just, he was a little, um, very nice, very kind, was very interested in what we were doing there. And as this man was driving us, we realized we were a long way away. We were about 20 minutes away from where we needed to go. And so he drove us all the way to the convent, and the gate was still open, thanks, thanks to God. And we were able to get in, and we were we got back to the convent. He drove us all the way back. And then when the man, we were so thankful, we were like, well, thank you so much for bringing us back. But then we realized, well, how is he going to get back? And the man said, don't worry, I know the way. He was saying, I'll, I'll walk back, I know where to go. And then when he reached out to shake our hands, he shook the brother's hand, but when he shook my hand, he hanged on to it. And so when he shook my hand, he hung on to it and he squeezed it twice. And it was like a handshake, like trying like of a friend, like trying to get your attention. And 
And so then he left, he turned the corner, and he was gone. And I thought about that situation for the longest time. Was it Jesus? Maybe. Was it my guardian angel? Maybe. But it was definitely, it gave me an appreciation knowing how close Jesus is. Also in today's gospel, two disciples are walking on the road, and Jesus comes behind them. They don't recognize who he is right away. Very strange for them to realize this man doesn't know what's going on. But when they finally invited him to supper, it was at the breaking of the bread that their eyes were opened. They recognized that this man that was with them the whole time was Jesus. It can be an encouragement for all of us that Jesus is very close to us. We just need to open our eyes and to look around. He can come through us like extraordinary means, like through our angel by himself, or through our friends or family who are with us too. He's not limited in how he reveals himself to us, but he knows us so well. Like when someone, when you, whoever that was, shook my hand, only I recognized that handshake. <laughs> And for you, it could be something different. But we know one thing for certain is that he, as he did to the apostles, he reveals himself to all of us in the breaking of the bread, in the Eucharist. Such an important point is that when he broke the bread, he disappeared. And it shows that he is there. He's with us in the Eucharist, always. My friends, be assured that Jesus is close to you during this time, 
She's close to Sibluwa's mother, especially in the hospital. She may feel alone, but we can be assured that Jesus is very close to her and to all those who are sick. sacrament of matrimony, especially those for whom I'm forming in the Kren community, may this time not be a time of discouragement for them, but a time to grow closer to God. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray especially for all those who have died. May the Lord graciously accept them into his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear these prayers and answer them according to your will through Christ our Lord.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant us that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mokasa yuada tu teke, Mopaka sota ta kopata teke, Mopaka si brusi po pakasa yuata teke, It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of
Pankasa yue pate natake, Kasakri atatutiata, Atake chete tambutake, Do palutana kola hepa, Ta atamu, Do la kala amane, am, amane pa, Ta u ke koke nela, Pasiluna, Lenata owe le pakre, pakre he sunamena, Dito pakabuto bato nanela, Da le pado ne pakasakri, Anyada atui soshiko, Mata so sikasa, du ropo popa, sutatami hu apu nepeke, pakasa yue te nataba, pata opo le hako da be nepeke, da ma le tapweta o, le ta eta kui koda, Papa Francis, talapa Bernard, da ka yeta buta ka ke le nepeke, te nataba, pada hu wet. Pada pu we mu da pada pu twa tapa le amyogui le na o ne teke chungula we le kake chete tamuta ke ako dumo ta ke we te da pati ke le da dule nuba asu na me nya le ta la kapa apu ne teke ta kanya pa kogade da masa la pa dito kake Kakra ne tapa, tata mua tua yo, kuda muka nana maria, pakasa ye shukriya mo, hoa so shi so yo se, me we tabli mua tita gotu, hoa ta me potapa, da posho si ke le, le alma pe apanata, ta bo yo ya ne teke. Mo pakasi patra, mo le mo kapabana, ta ko kuda awete, Koplo na popa yeshu kri ne teke. Koplo kri, kuda kri, dala kri apune, te tala pakasa, tala kapata tayo ya pake komide, odana kuda ta sosikasa, asu asu aka kane la. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. <laughs> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>
of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may obtain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you. 